Hello guys, it's 360 Mods and Hacks here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to mod Forza 4 online with a flashed Xbox or a JTAG. Um, this cannot work with hot swapping, I think. Um, the ISO is bigger than an actual disc, so you cannot hot swap it. You must have a flashed Xbox in order to do this. <laughs> also, number two, you have to have an iHaz drive or you have to have the Burner Max payload tool with a compatible drive for it to flash. Um, you won't need to flash anything onto your drive just yet. Um, you can keep your stock DVD drive, uh, look up on Google Burner Max compatible drives and um, you know see if you got the right one. But let's get this tutorial started. Alright, first you're going to need your ISO, which you can find on xbox360iso.com. Alright, um, you'll go ahead and make an account. Uh, you won't be able to view this form if you don't. And then you're going to go to, um, once you go on their website, you'll scroll down under Xbox 360 DVD game downloads. This will hurry up. Alright, so you'll scroll down. <clears throat> Xbox 360 downloads. Then Xbox 360 DVD game downloads. Once you're here, you will find uh, a lot of links with three letter words next to them. Um, Oat, R-Y-U, um, SS, uh, stuff like that. And basically that is the server which it is hosted on. Um, if you do have, <coughs> if you do plan on getting a premium account to download ISOs, I recommend Oat Upload. Um, they got pretty good stuff. So I'm going to go to uh, this one since I have an Oat Upload premium account. It's one link. So you'll click that. <laughs> and then on your keyboard you'll press control F and then right down here type in Forza 4 and this is obviously when the page loads fine Forza Horizon Forza Motorsport 4 Okay, regions, <coughs> NTSC slash U is United States, PAL is going to be United Kingdom, NTSC slash J is everything else. Region free, if you find one, which I doubt you will, for Forza Motorsport 4, that's Game of the Year edition, it doesn't really matter which one you get, region free, you can, you know, have fun, it's region free, obviously. So, <clears throat> what I did to find mine is I typed in on Google, which a lot of people can't use nowadays, Forza Motorsport 4, NTSC, slash, you. Alright, and you go and find one, and you download it, and then once you download it, you will look into your files, alright? And you should have two ISOs, all right? <coughs> One's going to be disk one, okay? Right, here, I'll bring up some old, cool, old school conversation. Uh, part one, you'll right click and click extract here. Okay, that's only if you have several parts, all right? <coughs> if you just have the ISO, which is one link, then you, you should be good. So then you'll get the ISO right here, all right? First thing you'll notice is it is bigger than your disc. Alright, I'll explain that later. Then you'll get your DVD, which is what you burn it with. And then Force of Disc 2 is just the DLC. Um, it's the same size and everything. So, now let's get on to the modding portion of this. Alright, you will need to use the Xbox backup creator that I have provided in the description because the one 
that you probably have does not support XGD3 games. So, <coughs> it's something to invest in. You'll click File, Open Image File, and then you will find your ISO. Forza Disk 1. <coughs> You'll instantly know this is not the DLC just by looking at um, everything right here, obviously. And then um, <coughs> I recommend using Chrome's mods for Forza 4. Uh, he has some really good ones. His mods are called Project Underground version 1.5. <coughs> now, if you're using a flashed Xbox, I recommend only changing the DB, which is the horsepower, the weight, the weather, uh, the track temperature and stuff like that of the cars. Because all this other stuff, um, it'll actually freeze your Xbox when you try to start it. Uh, it's usually only meant for JTAG. I don't know why. It just freezes your Xbox like a bad game of GTA. Alright, so you'll go into your DB and you'll need to replace a GameDB.SLT. Alright, it'll tell you in the usage uh, where to put it. But you go into Media, click this, and you go down to DB. Then right click and click Replace. Then go into the DB folder and then the SLT and then that's it for your ISO and then close image alright now if you already have an iHaz drive then you will not need to do the burner max payload tool but just to make sure um, this is how this is gonna go let me pull out a disk real quick so y'all can see the correct screen in order for it to flash it to your drive. Now I just have a stock Dell drive plugged in. Um, I recommend buying an iHaz drive. That's uh, the easiest thing you can do to burn newer games. I have one personally. It's badass. Uh, you don't even have to use Burner Max. You can just go into uh, what is it? You can go into Image Burn and just burn that shit. It's it's actually pretty good. I get successful burns every time I've not got a failed burn so <clears throat> once you load it it'll say burner max is enabled and then your free space will go up by about 200 million bytes <clears throat> it's like a lot so now once that's good you'll go into image burn you'll click write image file to disk please select the file Four is a disk one, right? So four is a four disk one, and then the DVD. All right, <clears throat> and then you will click right. So that's pretty much all that. Uh, wait till it gets done burning, and you should be good to go. Make sure to pay attention to this tutorial and do everything right. Because you will need um, a dual layered disc, you will need the Burner Max payload tool with a compatible drive, and comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.